Hi guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. In this video, we'll be understanding some of the changes that's coming in Bootstrap 5 release. Regarding Bootstrap 5, we'll go into what's new, what's different, what removed, and so on. I have gathered all the resources that I could from various resources into a single video, which may be helpful to you. I will also be doing a full introductory course for Bootstrap 5 in upcoming days as well. So let's get started. At this point of time of recording Bootstrap, version is currently in version 5 alpha 1. We will bear in mind it is still in alpha and there may be some changes and addition to the framework by the time of stable release. Bootstrap has been out for such a long period of time, more than probably 8 years now. It is also most used CSS framework in the world. It powers roughly 18 million websites worldwide. So let's discuss on what's expected to change in upcoming release. So first of all, they have a brand new logo. Wow, the logo reflects a feeling of rule set, style bounded by curly braces, as you can see here. So it looks much more playful and better than before, which is great. So let's take a look at another major change. Goodbye jQuery. jQuery is now removed from Bootstrap. Yes, you heard it right. Bootstrap won't be using jQuery after all these years, which was around more than eight years now. jQuery has become large bloated library that requires more time loading it. As the JavaScript frameworks like Angular, React, Vue, Sevelt has now dominated the web, so any jQuery features has been completely removed and done via vanilla JavaScript code in Bootstrap 5, which helps us in file size or width of the framework and make it much lighter. Responsive font sizes. It was a bit tricky to handle typography on multiple platforms. Media queries were a great help to achieve this. But now, Bootstrap 5 has enabled responsive font sizes. By default, it will automatically check and resize typography according to the browser's width. So now, it's a lot easy to handle responsive typography as it's all done by responsive font resizing engine. Also, short term known by RFC. Dropped support for Internet Explorer 10 and 11. Back then around 2003, IE was a really major browser and it was adapted and gaining a lot of uses around 95% of uses overall. But today it has become one of the web designers nightmare since it doesn't support modern JavaScript standards. JavaScript code needed to be compiled to ES5 instead of ES6, which increased the size of projects up to 30%. This limited our ability to use the features of ES6 or any newer JavaScript standards. And moreover, it doesn't support a lot of modern CSS properties as well. So now it's really great. We don't have to think about old IE compatibility issues anymore. So the other change is new gutter width for measurement. With CSS, we have a variety of ways to specify sizes or lengths of elements using different measurements like EM, REM, pixel, percentage view width, and view height. Sort form is VW for view width and VH for view height. Bootstrap has been using pixels for its gutter width, but now in Bootstrap 5, the gutter width will be measured using REM instead of pixels. REM is an abbreviation used for root EM. That means equal to calculated value of font size on the root element, which is also one of the well-made improvement from the team. Navbar optimization. The navbar has also been optimized and they completely 
removed it. Now we can use a dark drop down via drop down menu dark class which turns the drop down menu into black background which is also a useful improvement that we can see in the navbar drop down items as well. Custom SVG icons in Bootstrap 3 there were around 250 reusable icons in font format called glyph icons. However, in Bootstrap 4, it was totally taken off and we needed to rely on the free icon sources. But now in Bootstrap, we have a free and totally open source SVG icon library. These icons can now be added and used into our project at any moment of time, which I will share the link below as well. In the description. So switched from Jekyll to Hugo. Bootstrap 4 was built in Jekyll but now Bootstrap 5 documentation is made with Hugo. It's a static site generator which is fast and flexible static site generator written in Go language. A possible reason for switching in Hugo is probably it's fast easy to use and configurable compared with Jekyll. It has also a great integration with popular web host and can organize our content with any URL structure as well. Card component is removed. In Bootstrap 4, we have pre-made component shown in the left hand side as we can see. This was really helpful in order to create cards to set equal width and height of the cards but now it's been removed and we no longer can see it in the dock. Since we have the new grid system offered which also created more control over responsiveness so these unnecessary extra classes can be solved via use of grids. Updated classes. Bootstrap 4 had more than 1500 predefined classes but now in bootstrap 5 we have few addition to the classes and some of them are removed as well so the removed classes are form row form inline list inline card deck to name a few and the added classes are gx and a utility class which is to control the horizontal column gutter width gy a utility class to control the vertical row gutter width g a utility class and then which controls the horizontal and vertical gutter width row calls and auto is also a new class added enhanced grid system there has been some improvement in the grid system how it was used before in version 4 now it's a lot more improved. Some of the noticeable changes in grids are added a new grid to XXL. Dot gutter classes has been replaced with dot G and UDDD class followed by dot G and form layout option has been also replaced with a new grid system. New classes of vertical spacing has also been added and we no longer have position relative for the columns in default. So what's more to come? According to GitHub roadmap, documentation, to-dos and pull requests, there are a lot more improvements to come. Some of them are implementation of off-canvas menu, changes to SAS model system, increased uses of CSS custom properties, embedding SVGs into our HTML instead of our CSS, and there is a ton yet to come. So in conclusion, there is still a better improvement upcoming in Bootstrap stable release, which is planned to release in upcoming spring. Thanks to Bootstrap team working hard, making ready to ship code to make it lightweight, simple, useful, fast, and ultimately enhance the developer experience overall. So guys, I hope you got some information regarding new changes upcoming in Bootstrap 5 stable release. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want to learn more about code, design and anything more, please like, share and subscribe with the click down below. I'll be trying to make more better videos like this. So see you in the next one.